All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep my life music. Make sure y'all follow us on social media, on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect and appreciation. All right, you guys. So as y'all come on in here this morning, we're going to talk about the situation with one uh, Matt Barnes. As uh, a lot of you guys uh, are going to hear now about what's going on as uh, according to the reports, Matt Barnes um, has uh, lost his job. He's been fired from NBC, uh, his NBC broadcasting job. Now, uh, for you guys who don't know what happened, basically, uh, you know, Matt Barnes, he had an incident that was reported about about a couple week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, I think, uh, where he um, got into it during the game. He actually was coaching, and um, he was coaching against – he was coaching uh, high school, if I'm not mistaken – or middle school. No, he's a coach in middle school or high school. I can't remember which one it was. But he basically uh, was coaching against um, – he was coaching against uh, Derek Fisher and Derek Fisher's team. So, <clears throat> you know, according to the reports that's out right now in the L.A. Times, and you guys smash the like, but I know y'all not getting notifications uh, early this morning. But uh, it says former UCLA and NBA four Matt Barnes reportedly was dropped as a Sacramento King studio analyst by NBC Sports California nearly three weeks after he yelled at officials and confronted a student broadcaster from Studio City Harvard uh, West Lake School during uh, a high school boys basketball game at uh, Encino Crispy. Now it says Barnes who's 43 years old, um, became irate after an official <clears throat> who came irate after an official called a technical foul on one of his twin sons who plays for Crespi. The video posted to social media shows Barnes putting his right hand on the shoulder of the Harvard Westlake student, Jake Lancer, who was broadcasting the game. Uh, Barnes and Lancer exchanged words before adults intervened. The Sacramento Bee reported that Barnes no longer will serve as the Kings analyst, a job he held for three years. Barnes played 14 seasons in the NBA, including two with the Lakers, four with the Clippers, and nearly two with the Kings. He played at UCLA uh, from 1998 to 2002. Uh, it says Barnes addressed the confrontation during an appearance February 13th on the Dan Levitard show. Uh, he says, I was yelling at the refs. Dan, he told Dan Levitar, I've yelled at the refs my entire college career, my 15-year NBA career. I coach AAU in the summertime. I have high school boys, and I have five-year-old coming down the pipeline, so I'm going to be doing a lot of yelling at the refs. This particular incident, I will say my one mistake was putting my hand on Lancer's shoulder. A lot of people want to say I grabbed this kid Oh, I did this. I literally put my hand on the kid's shoulder because it was almost like I was talking to my son. So he and I had a little back and forth. But it's obviously for touching him, I was wrong. But I just didn't like the disrespect that came with the entitlement where they feel like they can say anything to me. Lancer addressed the incident on social media tweeting. Uh, last comment on the situation last night. I want to make it very clear. I never told Barnes to shut up or anything close to that, he came up to me. All I wanted to do in the moment was get back to announcing the championship game. <clears throat> Harvard Westlake backed the kid Lancer in a tweet from the school account. Harvard Westlake is proud of Jake Lancer and the poise he showed on February the 2nd under unusual circumstances. 
Jake's calm demeanor and professionalism focus are unparalleled in high school journalism, and we are honored he is our lead commentator on HWTV. Barnes, who attended Del Campo High near Sacramento, was arrested on suspicion of domestic violence in 2010, although the alleged victim, Barnes' fiance Gloria Govan, said any accusations of domestic violence are false. My fiance, Matt Barnes, never physically abused me or my family. Govan is the mother of the twins, Carter and Isaiah Barnes, whose coach at Crispy is former Lakers guard Derek Fisher. In 2015, Barnes and Fisher were involved in a physical incident where Barnes confronted Fisher about his relationship with Govan, who's estranged from Barnes. Fisher and Barnes have since resolved their differences. Now, basically, the situation is this. Barnes and Fisher had beef over the situation. You guys already know that. We ain't got to go through that again. Bar they end up getting a fight. They ended up... Uh, squashing the beef and now they end up both coaching high school basketball but different teams and Derek Fisher is coaching Matt Barnes sons so in this game that's where this whole situation popped off is during that game where D Fish is on the other sideline coaching Matt Barnes sons at high school so D Fish went from coaching in the NBA to the WNBA to high school so now he's coaching Matt Barnes' sons at high school, and Matt Barnes was coaching against D. Fish. Now, something happened at the game. Something happened at the game where Matt it made Matt Barnes go and put his hand on the boy's shoulder that was sitting at the time clock at the scores table, and he said something to this guy, and a lot of people was upset with Matt Barnes for that and said that what he did was wrong. And, you know, they were basically just blasting him for that. Matt Barnes then went on Dan Levitard's show to explain why he did what he did, but a lot of people wasn't buying it. And so now Matt Barnes, because of that incident, because of what happened in that high school, he has been fired uh, from NBC, from his uh, NBC broadcasting job that he's had for the last three years with the Sacramento Kings. So... I guess they looked into the situation. They didn't like the optics of how it felt for them. So they uh, they they fired Matt Barnes. Now, I don't know what Matt is going to do. I know he still has other things that he got going on. I think he, they still got the, uh, the show, all the smoke show. I think he still got that. So I, I don't know. But I just know that he was coaching high school basketball. And so I don't know, you know, saying if they fired him based off the comments because they waited a while to fire him until just yesterday. So I don't know if they waited, if they fired him based off the comments he made on Dan Levitar's show after that or just the situation in general. Because to me, if the situation happened like three weeks ago and that they would have already fired Matt Barnes if, they, if that was just because of the situation, unless they were doing an investigation into Matt Barnes to figure out what had happened in that situation before they fired him or it's because of his comments that he made in the aftermath saying that he's still going to be yelling at you know what I'm saying? A lot of uh, refs and all this other stuff. But people were saying, look, bro, you ain't yelling at no ref. You was over there, like, putting your arm on the kid. And then the kid came out and said that he was uncomfortable. So people going to look at that like, you know, NBC doesn't want to be a part of that. They don't want to have that on their on their record as far as that type of stuff going on, man. And so, you know, you guys know how it goes. Once it gets, once it gets there, like, with it, y'all already pretty much know how, how it's going to go down once you get at that point with the situation, so it ain't going to end up pretty. So Matt Barnes, in return, has been fired, man. He lost his job, man. And so, again, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the kids speaking out, I think that was something that probably, you know, was the worst thing is that they, when the kid came out. I mean, the kid literally came out, went online, and, you know, was telling his story about the thing, saying he didn't feel right about it. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, parents and stuff was there and things like that. Look, in, in that situation, bro, you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? And he admitted he was wrong. Matt Barnes admitted he was wrong for putting his hands on the boy. He shouldn't have, he shouldn't have put his hands on the boy like that. You know what I'm saying? Period. Because of the optics of the situation, what people are going to say to you anyways, regardless of what you're saying or doing. You know what I'm saying? They're going to look at it like, you know, you hostile, you being hostile. So, again, um, 
that's crazy, man. That that uh, you know, what I'm saying he uh, he even that's crazy. I didn't even know until I saw that game, you guys, that Matt Barnes was coaching high school basketball. I didn't know Matt Barnes coaching high school basketball. I didn't know he could have time to coach high school basketball and do broadcasting for the Sacramento Kings. That's crazy, because I thought you would think their schedules were intertwined. So I don't, I don't know if he's the head coach or if he was just coaching a game. So I would have to go look that up to see if he was a head coach. Because I mean, man. So that means he had a TV job with Sacramento Kings, and he was head coaching at, at high school basketball. So I don't know if the schedules were intertwined, but the crazy part, the craziest part is, is that when I saw that video, that's when I seen D Fish standing on the other side. I'm like, hold on, Derek Fisher coaching the other team? I'm like, oh, snap. hold on. And D Fish is coaching the other team? Um, and so I was just like, I'm looking like, oh, man, that's crazy. Now, Matt Barnes and them won the game, if I'm not mistaken. I think they blew him out and won the game, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I'm saying? But his sons are on the team, on the actual team with Derrick Fisher. You know what I mean? And like I said, them two, they resolve their issues and stuff like that. Matt Barnes has already spoken about that. He said, look, man, I'm a grown man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is. You know, woman going to choose that she gonna, whatever she want to do. You know what I'm saying? As long as my kids are safe and they, they comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Matt Barnes said he not finna trip off that no more. But again, you know what I'm saying? Um... The situation with the high school man, with the with the with that boy, that's what I think. That's probably I think I think that the NBC probably did an investigation, and probably like once they did the investigation, then they fired Matt Barnes. I I don't think that they kind of rushed to the judgment because they could have rushed out and just said, "Nah, we are gonna fire you," and then they could have backfired because if Matt Barnes didn't do nothing, he could turn back around and sue them. So maybe they did wait to do a thorough investigation into that situation to fire Matt Barnes. Or like I said, it could have been off his comments that he said to Dan Levitar. Cause if you look at his comments, his comments made it seem like, you know, and I'm not going to say, I'm not wanna, I don't want to put words in Matt's mouth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but his comments, like people would take it like, Oh, well you would still do the same thing. Well, he was like, Matt Barnes was like, look, man, you know, I wasn't really trying to, you know what I'm saying? Cause he said, he told Dan Levitar and I quote, he said, I was yelling at the refs, Dan. He said, I yelled at the refs my entire college career. We'll see people going to say, how was you yelling at the refs? You had your hand around a young boy. Greenleaf, salute, homie. Salute to you, my brother. And Greenleaf, they need to bench your boy. Yeah, the way y'all got beat last night, Greenleaf, they need to go ahead and bench your boy. But i get to you later on. Um, y'all go subscribe to my boy Greenleaf exclusive in the building. So uh, um, as I said to you guys, right, uh, he says, I yelled at the refs my entire college career. My 15-year NBA career, I coach AAU in the summertime. I have high school boys, and I have a five-year-old coming down the pipeline, so I'm going to be doing a lot of yelling at the reps. So Matt Barnes, is <laughs> he basically saying, I ain't going to stop yelling. Now, he said this particular incident, I will say my one mistake was putting my hand on his shoulder. See, now this is the thing. Matt Barnes said his one mistake was putting his hands on his shoulder. What well, a boy was saying that he was like the some of the stuff he was saying was kind of how you should say it like uh, intimidating in a way. I guess how that's how the boy was trying to explain it. You know what I'm saying? Now I wasn't there, so I don't know what he was saying. I couldn't hear what Matt Barnes was saying. All I seen is he was saying something to the boy and had his arm around the boy when he was talking to him. Had his hand like on arm on his shoulder when he was talking to him. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, like I said before, it's people that's closer to the situation that may know or he may know. But, again, he says that uh, a lot of people want to say I grabbed this kid or I did this. He said I literally put my hand on the kid's shoulder because it was almost like I'm talking to my son. So he and I had a little back and forth. And, obviously, for touching him, I was wrong. But I just didn't like the disrespect that came with the entitlement where they felt like they could say anything to me. So I guess he was saying something to the boy because he, if he said that the boy felt he was entitled to say anything to him, then I guess he was having a back and forth with the boy and putting his hand on And see, that's another thing. Bro, you can't put your hand on no kids no more, man. It ain't like the old days where, you know what I'm saying, if you get in trouble, you know, you can, um, you know, you one, per, one person family give you a spanking, send you home, you get another spanking once you get home. It ain't going to work like that no more. Now we in a whole completely different era now. The era we in now, 
if you touch somebody's kid, you going to jail or you gone. You know what I'm saying? Or you'll lose your job. So I think ultimately that's probably why NBC fired Matt Barnes is because that he touched that boy. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that's probably ultimately the reason why they why they fired him. Either that or because of his, his comments saying that he's going to be doing a lot more yelling and saying that, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I said, and then the boy's statement, and then you never know what's going to come after that. Like, y'all know how people is, man. But at, at the end of the day, like I said, I think Matt Barnes still got other things going on. I still think he got, like, the all the smoke with uh, Steven Jackson. And um, I still think he be doing, like, um, uh, guest uh, cameos on, um, is it First Take, I think, or Undisputed, ESPN? No, I think it's, I can't remember if it's inside the NBA or, or excuse me, on ESPN or if it's, uh, uh, for undisputed, I can't remember which one, but I sometimes I be I used to see Matt Barnes from time to time on uh on 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 them NBA shows. So again, I I, I don't know if he lost that too. I don't think he lost that. I'm not sure because they didn't say anything about him losing that. So I'm pretty sure he's still gonna have something. And then, like I said, that I don't even hear about him getting fired from the high school. So the the high school that he was at. That, that he was supposed to be coaching with. I don't even know if he was coaching. Like, if he's the – because I didn't know. Like I said, I didn't know he was coaching. So, if he was coaching, he I didn't hear about him getting fired from the high school coaching. But I guess, you know, the NBA people felt like – or the NBC people felt like, you know, saying that that co- that he worked for, for TV people, felt like that, you know, it was a fireable offense. Now, I don't know if Matt Barnes hasn't said anything publicly about this, to my knowledge yet. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he's going to come out. And uh, and speak on his, speak his piece about this. PC, what up, baby? Salute. Speak his piece about this, and let everybody, you know, what I'm saying, pretty much, uh, you know, get a get a thoughts going forward. Uh, but I I do think he probably gonna gonna speak his piece on on losing his job, price, you know, in the near future. I wouldn't be surprised if he if he did come out and uh and speak about that and pr- pretty much let people know. You know what? Uh, you know where he stands from and what how he feel about the situation. So, like I said, man, I think that um, again, NBC they probably took the safe route by firing Matt Barnes, man, because they didn't want nothing else to come on them <clears throat> from that situation. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all know how people parents is now, man. They they're trying to sue you and everything, man. So for anything, you know what I mean? So it's just like, bro, you know. But again, and in this time we live in, you can't be putting your hands on no kid. We, especially when you like got a situation where it's back and forth with you and the refs and the tensions is a little bit high, like it looked like on that video because it did look like some confusion. But people are gonna take it either way. They're gonna take it either way, man. So again, everybody just gotta look at the situation, man, and just you know map it out, man. You know what I'm saying? See, see how y'all. Let me know how y'all feel about it, man. So again, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell for you guys who just came in, man. Matt Barnes. Has been fired from his NBC TV job with the Sacramento Kings, man. He was doing uh, TV work uh, for NBC. NBC has to deal with uh, the Sacramento Kings, and they, they, uh, you know, that's who, that's who does the broadcasting of the local Sacramento King games is NBC. And so Matt Barnes was doing. Uh, he was working as a as a color commentary uh, TV personality uh, for. Uh, uh nbc man but like i said he got other things going on too so uh you know and i didn't hear about him getting fired from the high school which is crazy that he he didn't get fired from the high school but he get fired from nbc uh that's man so but he didn't get fired from that and then i didn't hear anything about you know any of the other thing other people that he does or other networks that he do like cameos with saying that they're not gonna have him back you know what i'm saying so i'm pretty sure that uh I don't think, because it's been almost three, four weeks now. I don't think nobody else is going to do nothing beyond this. You guys let me know what y'all think. Um, like, share, subscribe, man. Ring the bell, man. Holler, man. And I'll holler back. Peace.